Hi, I'm Scott Edmonds, and um, today I'm going to tell you about a new Made in Hong Kong pipeline aimed um, in this uh, coronavirus pandemic era to provide more rapid and interactive sharing of uh, open research data and code. So the coronavirus pandemic is put into stark contrast as if it was ever needed, how crucial and important um, scientific research is to tackle the um, urgent challenges um, in a disease pandemic such as this, where um, deaths can, can double, you know, grow exponentially in a man number of days, um, where the WHO has talked about an infodemic um, caused by this um, kind of information vacuum um, where kind of conspiracy theories are run riot. Um, the traditional means of, of tackling this the, the, is the scientific publication. This is the means that we communicate and credit academic research. Um, but unfortunately, this 21st century crisis is being um, tackled with a 17th century technology with a over 250 year old means of, of, of um, dealing with this, um, where it's so crucial to um, disseminate this information um, openly and globally, um, the system is, is, ex is extremely expensive. Um, things are held back by, by paywalls, um, where we need this information rapidly and in a trusted peer reviewed form. The technology to do this is extremely laborious and slow. And the whole process is completely untransparent. It's, it's a black box. Um, and where in this data-driven era, the most crucial things we need are the, the data and the, and the software and the underlying methods. And effectively, the, the incentive systems are only focused on narrative. They do, they do not incentivize the hard work to share these things. This is why. Um, we have launched uh, this combination of a journal and a data repository, uh, Gigabyte and GigaDB, um, to provide credit and really lower the, the friction in sharing this, this data and code. An example here, this um, scientometric uh, coronavirus data um, linked to a, to a publication in a, um, in a data journal. Um, we have managed to achieve this using the new um, all-in-one XML end-to-end -end publishing pipeline um, put together by River Valley Technologies. This uh, single uh, integration point um, avoids all of the traditional kind of API spaghetti. Things don't fall to the gaps and it's much more efficient in many ways. One advantage on this focus on XML is that um, rather than focus on the traditional version of record, you can have a number of different views. So at the click of a button, you can, for example, change the language. Um, at, the, at another click of a button, you can change the font. Uh, you can think about visually impaired people, dyslexic fonts. And fundamentally, you can change the, the entire way that you view this uh, information, doing it in the way that really counts for you, you know, everybody um, wants to kind of interact with this differently. Focusing on software and code, um, we ha uh, have um, a worked with Stencilla, so clicking a button um, pro provides an interactive version of this paper, um, including all of the underlying code. Um, you can go to the individual figures, click on a button to actually scrutinize the code chunks underlying these figures, um, scrutinizing them, and you can even edit and update and uh, change in line the, these figures. And going beyond the figures to the software as a whole, this is an example of an immunoinformatics tool for coronavirus data. Um, the entire tool, you can scrutinize the code together um, using CodeOcean and click a button and deploy it in your own cloud computing environment. Um, this is why we really think that there's a need to, to, to think differently, to tackle these kinds of problems, to provide uh, credit and means to share open data and open software. We need to move beyond the traditional version of record, really focus down on the facts and data and then discard the packaging. And this XML only workflow um, cuts the time and costs by almost an order of magnitude. Um, so thank you for your time and thank you for all of our support in it.